Good morning. I'm hungry. I woke up. I wake up hungry every single morning of my life. So we are going to dig in this bag over here. I'm going to take a thumbnail right now and take the photo and there we take the, the photo. I'm gonna finish my brownies. Abe's brownies from from grocery outlet. Best purchase ever. I'm just kind of scared it's gonna make a mess, and then my foster parents are gonna yell at me. I'm supposed to be married to Trump Jr., you guys. I don't know how many more times I can say it for it to be true. Oh man, Look at my hair in there. Go to the abyss, hair. Okay, I'm starving, so I need to eat something before I die. These barns are really good. They don't have, like, a bunch of junk in them. At least I think so. It's a vegan brownie. Who would have thought vegan brownie could taste good? Six fifty in the morning. I guess I still have food in my mouth. Y'all be nice. And I mean, a lot of people have been nice to me on my YouTube channel, so I can give y'all credit for that. But I don't know what else to say. No, mm, it's gonna make a mess. I don't see how much. That's why I like non vegan food. Because that stuff doesn't fall apart all the time. But I still like the brownies of vegan people. I wonder if a glass of water. So what are we doing today, folks? Are we working on me getting married to Trump Jr.? Because I'm doing this for y'all. I ain't doing it for me, you know. And it's not just y'all to benefit you, America. For God. For myself a little bit, you know. It's all to benefit the Lord at the end of the day. Neighbors are awake, waiting for work.
Okay, y'all. Sorry if me holding the camera is getting shaky, but I propped my phone up with the water bottle, so. That's what we're doing. See, it's all apart. Come on, big and brown. You're supposed to fall apart. That's about a bad box. I don't know. That's why I'm not really vegan. I'm just about to do so that it looks good. Yes, I'm on UBT. Yes, I'm on Oregon Trail Carb. Because Jim Jr. has not reached out to me in the 29 years of my life. 29 and a half now. Yes, I know, like, the time of eating to. If I had a home like this, an adult foster home that I was taking care of and being a foster mom to, I would not allow smoking. No, they probably would just have to be forced to quit because, yeah, that's it's just not okay to smoke. No, it's not clean. Oh dang, all my neighbors are waking up. Well, coming out of their houses with their cars, yeah, I'm about to... Okay, I think I'm done eating these. I'll admit the chocolate's great, but they just keep falling apart. Mm. Y'all ever tried Victor Eagles? I I kept asking people like, have y'all tried it? How have y'all tried it? Nobody's tried it. Nobody had tried it until I did, and I was I was hooked once I tried it. I think the first thing I bought was a salad fries, carne salad fries. That was good. I love my Mexican food here. Oh, man. I'll throw it in there. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I tried Victory Gold and it was good. I'm hooked on there. I can't even tell that probably. Anything from there is good. I've tried their cheesy tots before. I've tried their guacamole. Guacamole is great. Way better than Taco Bell. Mm. 
and it's a drive through restaurant. So, if you live somewhere like in Tennessee where they may not have a Victor Eco's, pitch the idea to the town and have a Victor Eco. Yeah, it's yummy. <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all, I'd be married. I keep telling Brittany Dale and Maura, I'm like, you're a prophet. Like, you have a marriage. You have everything going for you. I don't. So, can you help me out? It's just disrespectful and profits act like they don't care. Right? Dang, people are really busy early in the morning. It's not even 7 a.m. It's 7.58. I want to see a watch this time. Yeah, there you go. Six fifty nine now. Lord. I don't want to try that on a small town song a lot. You like that song Coop on the Ground? Probably. You you from a red state, you probably like it. I don't think it's so much of a democratic thing. I think it's more of a demonic thing, unfortunately. A lot of unfortunate events occur. And is it just me, or are roads nowadays getting smaller and skinnier and narrower? We're definitely reaching the end times. We are in the end times. Yikes. Scary. Mm -mm. It's scary like when Sean Henry was talking about his mom getting cancer. It's scary when you hear those words. I'm never getting cancer in the name of Jesus. Amen. I should have sent that up to the man upstairs. That's why I eat. Trader Joe's food because Trader Joe's is like a mini I think it's finally needing to be like recognized as like a mini Whole Foods they need to put Whole Foods as, or I mean Trump I mean Trader Joe's until I have like no sleep <laughs> I just want to start circles but yeah they need to put a tra Trader Joe's in every little small town though Looking Gamby, there's this one building that always, um, I feel bad for people in small towns too, and especially since I grew up in them, like, we have, like, no money. <laughs> it was until I came here in Happy Valley, Oregon, that I was like, do y'all have money? <laughs> do y'all have money? <laughs> And everybody around here just looks like they have money. That house is beautiful over there. I wish I could show it all, but I can't. It's got like... I don't know how to explain it. I, I think that part right there is a... A stairwell... Thing, whatever. So... Yeah, this is another jalapeno chomp from, um, another jalapeno chomp from Trader Joe's. And you can get chomps from Amazon, I believe. You can get almost anything from Amazon. Literally. I once... A couple months ago, bought 
some of my favorite LaCroix from them. It's about two chomps out. Two. Two. <laughs> yeah. Why are you going to stink? Cigarette trash can. Well, someone wonder why you're black. It's one of those, like, tin trash cans and it's like really small. Y'all wanna see it? Well, I don't know. I don't want people to start smoking because I showed them. <sighs> My neighbors are awake. I don't even know comments where y'all are eating with me. I think they're grass fed. Second one. <laughs> I have to be careful if I talk loud. Meanwhile, all the other neighbors are awake. Are you kidding me? Don't live in a false reality, people. Kind of sickens me how people look at God's discipline. <laughs> you know why? Because I was raised with a strong hand of God on my backside, and now I have to stand hand of strong. with a strong hand of God on my backside and now I just know not to be stupid like my brother was doing the stupid stuff to get me in trouble too and my brother shouldn't have been hanging out with that crowd he should have been hanging out with the elites in high school you know the kids that do sports and stuff like that Mm -hmm. Bridget Spears' dumb narrative. I just, you know, don't think that I should have ever been brought through the ringer, you know? When I look out of my eyes, I don't see anybody else's. Um, when I look out of my eyes into a mirror, I don't see anybody else's image. I see myself. You know?
about we're trying to teach Miss Ashley Goldegger. I'm the one that held my camera probably 15, 20 videos back. I can't remember how many videos back. Including the shorts. Because so shorts are still videos, right? Yeah. I don't know about that damn brother-in-law in Canby, Oregon, but I know he shouldn't have never, never, um, put a restraining order on me. <clears throat> Y'all, this is spicy. After, this is my second one, and it's finally spicy. What is I can taste? On oh, Victoria and a and &M. America's Next Top Model. I think it was cycle 19 or 20. Neighbors. Walkers. Oh, God. Have you seen it? What? Have you seen it? Seen what? Check the table when you get back in the house. I'm gonna... <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. Good. I got her away from her cigarette for a while. When we, when I first got here, my adult foster dad told me, um, we have a signed seating because we don't want anybody arguing overseas. I was like, okay. And so this morning, early this morning, the first thing I did when I woke up is I opened my blinds and then I looked to my left and kept turning and then I was like oh okay her gift so I looked to my left and saw her gift and I took the gift and I put it on her um seat at our assigned her assigned seat at our dining table yeah I don't know the only problems we have in this house is just like little minor problems. I mean, my foster mom kind of cops an attitude sometimes, but I think her husband, my foster dad, kind of calms that down sometimes. So. I should have let you discover it on your own. I love the dress. It's oh, you so found pretty. the dress? Yeah. I was scared you didn't like the book, so if you don't like it, you can give it to Ananda. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Antonia. I really appreciate it. Okay. I love the books and stuff. I haven't really read any books in a long time, but... Okay. You know, school's a long time for me, too. I'm putting my car here today. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. Is that it? What? Is that the car? No, this is... My car's not this nice. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, nothing nice. Oh, Honda Civic. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm going to need to be somebody else. Stupid devil. I'm trying to deceive people. I'm going to smoke them. All I remember when seeing people do the smoking is a strong hand of God on my backside.
making him stink, y'all. I like to be like j but I sometimes feel like that mentality is hard to harness, you know, or hard to have. Um, it's just it's not okay to make um, people feel like they don't belong in the church, j -Wow. And I feel like that's something that Dina was, has been needing to say this whole time. Ew, Ashley, I could go down the line, I swear. Smoking is bad. I'm gonna ban smoking out of America, Donald Trump. Wine. No, I don't know about some alcohols, but I do know wine has really good properties. Jesus made wine. I think if you just keep it at home. Really, devil, you're just really trying to mess with me. You need to take them cigarettes out of her hand. Oh, I keep trying to tell cool finding girl when she needs to either go to Trader Joe's because I know Rachel Talbot lives in Nashville, Tennessee. So, I'm actually going to come over here and put that in there. Oh, God. Here we go, brace yourself, I'm dying. <laughs> Bye. Hope you like your gifts. Sorry, I couldn't get everybody's signatures, and it was kind of hard to bounce around you. Okay. So, I don't know whether we need to pray for her or not pray for her. John B. Chris. Jackie Nimble. Trying to tell her how she needs a picture of tell, uh, so many words, words are hard. Um, she needs a picture of Trader Joe's in her little small town. Trader Joe's are so small, they're literally the size of a Dollar Tree, a normal Dollar Tree. The majority of Dollar Trees are not as big as Dollar Trees in, in uh, McLaughlin and that same road that had us red, white, and blue thrift store in, in, in Oregon, West Oregon. I used to go to those Dollar Trees when I didn't have much and bought a bunch of stuff to eat. I think there's more cost in your milk. I sell it at the big Dollar Trees. Um, 
one, especially the vitamin D one. Well, vitamin D. I mean, um, it's red and If I go back to get these these chips here, I'll show you. There's the chips. Yeah, they're gold corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. I guess they heard talking was was um being sneaky so they decided to make them make their own I only have three in here. I don't want another one. doing here <laughs> really god Five to thirty minutes to be out here. So, yeah. And how I'm eating these. These are so good. I will say they're hard on my teeth, but they're really good. <laughs> said Tanya left us. I liked her. She always went above and beyond. We got plenty of time. Bro, um, I would have took better hair on my teeth. I had to do a salt water solution last night. And just so those who say I talk quiet, I talk quiet because we're not allowed to 
be loud here in this house until 8 a.m. So I'm trying to be quiet and I always hate eating these. I always get my fingers messy. Yeah, I gave my friend Ashley an old dress that I had in my closet that I was like I'm just never going to fit into a medium sized dress because I keep eating eat with me's here on my channel so I'm ready to like vacuum can do you good anyway <laughs> that's my foster dad's name and my um housemate friend Eric I'll just say that's his name because he's so similar to Eric Fred Trump. Uh. Anyways, so... Um, what was I going to say? My housemate friend, he always calls our foster dad when our foster dad's not looking and not around. He calls him no leg corn nut. <laughs> I'm like, that is too funny. Okay, well, we probably should wrap up here pretty soon. Especially since somebody has started to smoke. I don't smoke. No, neither does my in-laws. Y'all know Trump doesn't do that. Don't come over here. Stay over there. And now she's walking. She literally comes out like almost every 10 to 30 minutes. Probably more like 10. She needs to quit smoking and eat. You freaking skinny meister. Buy some victory goals, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, did you know that you can download the uber ride service app and you don't have to download the uber eats app because on the ride service uber app it literally will say uber and then it'll say uber eats so it says uber and eats and you just swipe and just click on the uber eats and it'll <laughs> work for you i wonder if couponing girl has, has uber eats in her little town. I need to eat more salads. She, I just saw a video. I didn't watch it. I was busy looking up other stuff, but um, she posted a 
a video, an E with me video of her um, eating a salad. I said maybe I should do the same. I can't believe we have smoking here in this expensive area. Lo and behold, this girl, and it's her birthday today, and she's from Portland. I am not from Portland. I am from 10 minutes away from the border. I mostly grew up in Blythe, California. Um, I was there for like three years, and then, before, and then my mom moved us up here when I was like four. So, and I went back and to visit my dad every summer after four years old. So, yeah. This girl is thinking out my lungs, so I better get going, but it's only 7.29. I just want to make sure I have enough time to throw my stuff away and do it quietly. And being quiet requires grace. You know, you can't just out god you can't just oust god donald trump and then just be like what's happening he's got a lot of humbling and a lot of mic <clears throat> this girl's thinking out my lungs y'all i'm gonna wait till 7 30 and i'm going in if not she can stop smoking i'm just gonna come over here and deal with this yeah. I'm glad I don't smoke. You know, the girl that just made the noise, the banging sound, she's smoking. I'm sorry, Angelina Oleg, but y'all ain't supposed to be allowing smoking in your house. That's not biblical. Just because America is crazy, does not mean you can be crazy too. <laughs> yeah, I gave, I gave her those pink. Y'all want to see them? I don't know if I can flip this camera around. What's up? Oh, I can. You see those right there? I gave her those. Those pink New Balance ones. I got them from the Oregon State Hospital. A girl gave them to me. I guess just because I have favor on my face. And she gave me these yellow, those yellow ones right here. So, I'm... I'm gonna be completely honest though, her boyfriend Larry needs to mind his own business. He has no business trying to act like some weirdo. He doesn't even look attractive. Like that's not my type. My my type is father figure Brandon Blackstock like type of dad and definitely old school and definitely well older than me. I know I'm supposed to be married to Trump Jr. It's 7.32. Um, but yeah, I'm supposed to be married to the man. And if we're not going to be married, we're going to hell. And that is not okay. Nobody wants to go to hell. Nobody, nobody, nobody. You know, my foster mom... It's like we can't she got mad at me when I first got here because I had a bag of um a bag of cans like over here by this on the other side of this bush over here and and um she got mad at me because I left it there because I knew that she was gonna throw a fit about it in my room or whatever and she um hey you gotta wear gloves when you do bottle exchange oh god this is terrible it's nasty 
dirty stain. Yeah, anyways, I left it over there, and she was like, this is an expensive area, you need it. I'm like, what are you, my grandma? <laughs> my grandma was, hated tacky things, and I could never take a picture of a boy or anything like that. I had a picture of Jesus Christ, printed off from the television, and put it on my wall. She would would have been like, nope, that's tacky, I don't want it in my house. So, <laughs> my grandma was crazy. I think it's because she was German and oh she died in 2022 though from Alzheimer's. Well it wasn't easy for her life. She had to deal with a lot of cheating from her husband my grandfather well like once and I hope my grandfather has made peace with God. If I do backwash, I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't be divisive on my channel, please. <laughs> Anyways, I better get going. I gotta give myself enough time to get rid of my stuff um throw some of the stuff in the trash so um talk to me in the comments about anything that I said you know and please be nice and not divisive I'm getting tired of the divisiveness on YouTube I tell you if COVID-19 harassment was on YouTube it would be flagged up the yin yang it just totally would. Just because I'm been stuck here in Oregon waiting for Trump does not mean that <laughs> you have to have COVID-19 harassment. And wearing a mask, Fauci, does not work. And guess what, Donald Trump? You could have told him to be quiet from the beginning. Mm, he's he should have Fauci should have never been in that job. He's probably gonna end up dying from COVID because he's the one that created it. You idiot. <laughs> Masks do not work. Jesus Christ works. And if you keep them holy and center and you be like this house that I live in and keep things extremely clean, then there will never be any COVID-19 in this house. Yeah, as soon as I came into this house, all witchcraft, all problems, anything that came from the devil immediately came off of me. So I don't know why my foster mom's like having to look in my mouth just to see if I took the medicine. Mm, she's like stupid, doesn't even know that I end up repenting for the medication that I just took. You can't control what people do in life. You can only control yourself and really your relationship with God. And if people don't want to get that through their heads and they're going to end up like my... Like that house in the law that I keep talking about on here on YouTube. It's ridiculous what's gone on in that house. And the fact that witchcraft was allowed to happen in that house. Through me. Not okay. Anyways, I better get going. My neighbors are being weird. Bye.